Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of BCW2K Wrestling. We have a stack show for you today. It's the after effects of the Big Apple Brawl Part 2. It was a phenomenal pay per view. And there's Brooke Hogan, the former BCW Women's Champion. Lost the Shotzi, but she gets another shot later on tonight. But we're going to start it off with the BCW Extreme Championship match, which is Penta versus John Moxley. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the ECW Extreme Wrestling Championship. All right, thanks for joining us live on Twitch. We got Penta already in the ring, the challenger, challenging John Moxley, part of the chicken bar here in BCW. And here's your BCW Extreme Champion. John Moxley defeating Christian for that title. He's been going strong ever since and is here tonight in Brooklyn, New York to defend it against the legend Penta. Oh look, Penta's not waiting anymore. This is an Extreme Rules match. Zero Muerto. No, I'm saying it wrong. Oh, and a kick to the back to Moxley. Oh, now Penta's got the title. Oh, but Moxley stops him in his tracks. Beautiful counter there by the champ. What do you guys got? Is John Moxley going to continue his reign, or are we going to have a new extreme champion here? Right now, Penta. That was close. We got a lot of great matches coming up tonight. We got the Witch Doctor versus Ashley Mercedes. The loser goes into bikini match. We got... Master Fudge and Tornado Chicken teaming up against Dark Maul and a partner of his choosing. So I'm really eager to see who's going to choose here. And of course, the main event. We got Jason teaming up with Leatherface versus Myers versus the, with The Fiend. So I'm really eager for that main event, too. But let's get back to this match. Penta taking it to the champion right now with a back body drop right on top of the title. And now he's got it in hand here. Maybe right to the face of the champion. Take it down, Moxley. Oh, but Moxley kicking out before the ref even got down at one. Penta did not like that. And he sends Moxley to the outside. To the outside, excuse me. Now Penta. Grabbed a kendo stick, but Moxley was able to knock it out of his hand and knock him down to the ground. This is uh, the chicken bar, Team Tornado Chicken, represented by John Moxley. Penta is still open. He's a free agent here in the Discord. And his... Indeed, a good pick here, especially if he becomes the BCW Extreme Champion here tonight, live on Twitch. And he's going for it now. Booyah! Going for the cover. Is this it? Oh, champ kicking out at one and a half. We also got uh, Hangman Adam Page versus Randy Orton tonight, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be another great match. That's uh, Team G Money versus Team Fudge Fighters. Oh, Penta setting up now. Oh, wait a minute. Nice reversal by Moxley. Takes down Penta. This crowd is on their feet here. Cheering for Moxley. They want him to retain against Penta here. Going for the cover. And a kick out. You know Moxley will do whatever it takes to inebriate his opponent, but uh, I don't know. Penta's resiliency is through the roof. 
This is definitely going to be a hard contest for both these gentlemen here time. Nice chest slap by Penta getting back in the game here. He's got Moxie on the outside. He's got him all wrapped up on the ropes with shots to the spine. Oh, and a backbreaker to follow. Going for the cover to be BCW Extreme Champion. Another kick out at one. I got to say, man, you know, this is an extreme match. You, you, you want to beat John Moxley, you need to use weapons. And now, finally, you see Penta's got the, the kendo stick. Oh, misses again. Not able to use it, but this time he does. To the face of Moxley, now the body. Well, I think that's just pissed off Moxley. Oh, wait a minute. Paradigm shift. That could be it right there for Penta to retain his title. Oh, Penta just kicking out at two and three quarters. Wow. Moxley thought that was three. All right, he's going for another one. It's over for Penta. There it is, and he's busted open Penta. But John Moxley is going to retain his title tonight. What a battle. Got to give it up for Penta. He put up one hell of a fight. You're going to see the, the highlights here. He took it to John Moxley, but it was not enough to put away the champion. He was able to reverse that. He got the momentum and two paradigm shifts to send Penta back in. Beautiful sight right there. Kicking out of that first paradigm shift, but not the second. Here is your winner, and still, ECW Extreme Wrestling Champion, John Moxley. John Moxley is still your BCW Extreme Wrestling Champion. All right, it is time for the Witch Doc versus Ashley Mercedes, and loser fights in the bikini match later on tonight. All right, we are set for this singles action. Mercedes representing the crew and the witch doc gets pushed aside. And then a right hand by the doc and then a backhand center to the ground. The witch doc losing last week against Oscar in the Big Apple pay-per-view pre-show main event was not successful and Oscar retained her BCW Women's Intercontinental Championship. Witch Doc looking to send Mercedes to the bikini match. Oh, wait a minute. Playing possum here. No. Kick out. That was close. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty eager to see what's going to happen with the Witch Doc. If she winds up in that bikini match against Kitty Sophia. Execution right here, and boom! And now the witch doc mocking her prey. Oh, going for a cover. And Mercedes lets her know that no way, Jose, is that gonna. Oh, wait a minute. It never fails here at BCW, but honestly, I love it. It always stirs the pot. Who the hell is it now? I mean, she still does have beef with Oscar. I mean, Oh yeah, it is the champ. She is here. Misses the kick, but going for that Oscar lap. And she taps right away, but gets off before the ref could see her. Smart. Look at look at Oscar. So slick. Giving the match here to Ashley Mercedes. She wants to embarrass the witch doc by sending it to the bikini match. And that'll definitely do it. Now, I got to say, Ashley Mercedes looks pretty confident, but the witch doc kicking up. Mercedes with a nice Irish whip and then a splash in the corner. Stopping that doc's momentum. Oh, she is going for the beautiful leg drop. Oh, now 
Something so dangerous stepping on the eyes of the witch doc. If she gets a win here tonight, that would be a big assist by Asuka. Sending the witch doc. Oh, she may be going for that French kiss. DDT. There it is. And Asuka gets another one up on the witch doc. Sending her to the bikini match later tonight. That is not going to sit well with the doc. Beautiful possum cover right there. Doc had the momentum, but Oscar coming out, making a tap in the Oscar, but let go before the ref could see it. Otherwise, would have got a DQ and sending Mercedes into that match. Here is your winner, Ashley Mercedes. So there you have it. Ashley Mercedes getting a win, sending the witch doc to the bikini match later on tonight. It is time for some tag team action, folks. There he is, Master Fudge getting ready for his tag team match, probably thinking about who Darth Maul's gonna pick. You know, it's, it's definitely on his mind right now. Oh, wait a minute, Darth Maul gets knocked out. Who, oh, wait a minute, is, that's Boba Fett. Boba Fett's here and now Chicken finally coming to the rescue of his partner. And Darth Maul has brought Boba Fett into the BCW universe, and that match is coming up next. Hold your horses, folks. Shit's about to get real. And there he is, the man, the mystery man that we all wanted to know who who was gonna be, and it is Boba Fett, the wannabe Mandalorian, the somewhat of a clone, even though he doesn't have the the chip. Doesn't matter. He's he's a freaking clone, if you ask me. All right, here we go. Tag team action. Darth Maul looking for some retribution here. The chicken saying he's got it, but Fudge like, no, no, no. I, I, I got to go. Oh, wait. These two are not on the same page here tonight. And especially Fudge got attacked earlier on. He may be hurt even before starting this match here tonight. All right, we lock up, and now Master Fudge wants retribution on Maul. Maul talking a lot of smack on social media. Oh, look at the cover. It could be over before it starts. Here we go. Look at Darth Maul. Oh, no. That was close. Wow. That would have been embarrassing for Team Fudge Fighters and Tornado Chicken. I mean, it would have kind of been upsetting. I'm kind of excited to see what Boba Fett's going to bring to the table here tonight. Darth Maul looking for some retribution. Got abused at the last show. Compliments of Tornado Chicken and Master Fudge. Oh, and a right hand of Boba Fett. It was a, a handicap match. And of course, Tornado Chicken and Fudge come out with the win. But tonight, that it is even Stevens. And the bounty hunter Boba Fett has joined the dark side like always. And he's fighting against the Jedi Order tonight. And the Chicken Bar. What do you guys got? Who's going to come out with the win here? Is the momentum going to stay with the Force or is the dark side stronger? Right now the Force is showing its strength. By leadership of Master Fudge, who has the patience of a saint. Going for a cover after that beautiful Force Yorinagi. Oh, kick out by Maul. Gotta give it a mole though. He's got the resilient level that we all know he has. He's got Fudge in the corner now. Oh, now he's sending him to the dark side of the corner. And now we get to see Boba Fett in action because Mole just tagged him in. And a double shoulder tackle. Trying to go for the tag, but he can't. Chicken is denied. Chicken is off the menu. Till further notice, says Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett going for submission right in front of Chicken's face. That's just the kind of guy Boba Fett is. I know. Fudge getting out, using the force and making a tag. Finally bringing in the Chicken, and the Chicken, Des Press punches to the face. 
for the bounty hunter and spears Darth Maul, and that's what I'm talking about. Getting this crowd pumped up. They're on their feet. Tornado Chicken taking it to the bounty hunter, Boba Fett. Oh, another tag here. And look at the tag team brilliancy here. Master Fudge could be going for that fudge bomb here on Boba Fett to close the shop. Oh, no, he's going for... Oh, no, he was blocked by Boba Fett. Got the knees up in those knee pads. Beautiful leg sweep. Taking down the Force Man. And Master Fudge is in deep shit. Literally. Oh, he's got him in a submission now on that leg that he fell down on when he got knocked over. Is he going to tap out here tonight? And he does. Holy crap. Boba Fett getting his first win here. And it's in the tag team division. And Chicken is pissed off. He is livid. He does not like to lose. Right here in the beginning of the match. Look at this. Darth Maul almost closing it. Almost getting the match won there. Beautiful maneuvers by the Fudge Master. But Boba Fett came in. And things started to hit the fan. And it was not enough for the Jedi Order to prevail here tonight. And Boba here Fett getting a big win winners, with Darth Maul. The Mania and Bob A. I gotta say, you know, they definitely attacked Master Fudge before the match. It didn't help, but it's not an excuse. But it's definitely one up in the force here tonight. And it is time for the Cowboy and the Viper to get together. Because it's Hangman Adam Page and Randy Orton one-on-one -on -one with both of their team members by their side. All right, there's Hangman Adam Page, the former one half of the former BCW Tag Team Champions. They lost in that three-way ladder match. To these very guys right here, Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton. Sorry for that, folks. There they are, your new BCW Tag Team Champions. Brock Lesnar climbing that ladder and grabbing it. But it's not about that tonight. It's just about grudges. Hangman Adam Page versus Randy Orton. The Cowboy versus the Viper. We know how Cowboys like to handle snakes. This crowd is pumped for this match right here. We all know we would love to see this in real life. Randy Orton versus Hangman Adam Page. You're only going to get that here in the BCW Universe. Live on Twitch. And on video demand. On my YouTube channel. Oh, now the Viper sends the Cowboy to the outside. Oh, now he's just gloating in front of Roman Reigns. Here comes Hangman. Able to take advantage of that stupid distraction. And now Paige bringing it to Randy Orton. A beautiful su back suplex taking down the Viper. But the Viper's already on his feet on the outside. And that's where Randy Orton likes to work. This is a regular match, but he will use the rules as far as he can. And he'll always gloat in the process. Who do you guys got? Is Randy Orton going to be the winner here tonight for Team Fudge Fighters? Or is Team G Money's Hangman Adam Page going to come out with the win and get some momentum? Maybe getting a title match one-on-one -on -one against the Bolts so they get a shot here. And his cover, no. Now Randy Orton's he's got, excuse me, he's got Page in the corner. He takes him down. Yeah. 
Oh, now he's got him on another cover here. Nice. Next week, I set up Hangman Adam Page and Roman Reigns will face Riddle and Sir Smokes a lot in a tag match. Try to get them back on track. Speaking on track, oh! both misses, but really, Hangman took the, the blunt of that. And now a snap suplex from the Viper, taking down the Cowboy. Oh, now the, Vin the Viper is going to go vintage. Throwback, baby. You got to love how Randy Orton shows the confidence that he has all the time. Going for another cover here. He may have... Oh, no. Page says, no way. Not yet. And now again, gloating in front of Roman Reigns, and this time he pays for it. Roman Reigns coming into play here. This is why it's dangerous when you have managers by your side or teammates. Did the Cowboy Plex was unsuccessful to take out the Viper. He's going to have to do the Weston pile driver to get rid of Orton. He's got that face lock in. Randy Orton fighting back though and gets out of it. Viper. And RKO out of nowhere. Where the hell did that come from? One, two, puts away the Cowboy. Roman pulls out the ref, just not in time. Holy crap. And Team Fudge Fighters gets a win. And it happened with the RKO. That was beautiful. Oh, Hangman Adam Page on his feet. Showing respect. All right. Some sportsmanlike conduct there. I like that. Randy Orton, the Viper, is your winner tonight. All right. It is time for the BCW Women's Championship match. Shotzi Blackheart versus Brooke Hogan. contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and it's for the ECW Women's Championship. And there is Shotzi Blackheart called out the champ and the champion was having her celebration and it was rudely interrupted by Shotzi Blackheart said Brooke Hogan. Uh, so now here we are Brooke Hogan is a fighting champion and wants to shut up Shotzi Blackheart once and for all in front of all these BCW fans that love her so much. They really don't. But I am super excited about this title match because I always love title matches. What do you guys got as the champion going to retain tonight? Are we going to have a new champion? We got uh, Team Buffy versus Team Fudge Fighters. The Buffy Slaters versus the Fudge Fighters. Uh, let's go to ringside. Introducing the challenger from San Jose, California, Scotty Black Hart. Introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida. She is the ECW Women's Champion, Brooks Hogan. Brooke Hogan, the daughter of Hulk Hogan. Shotzi pumped. Hogan is ready. And I hope everybody live on Twitch is ready or watching after on YouTube. Because it is time to fight here tonight. All right.
right, here we go. And Shotzi right off the bat. It's throw down by the champ. And takes down the challenger. Like I said, uh, the BCW Universe is not a big fan of uh, the women's champion. They would love to see their favorite Shotzi Blackheart become champion here tonight. Shock the world. Right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Brooke Hogan is taking it to Shotzi. Oh, wait a minute. Shotzi's able to turn something around here. Going for a cover. A little roll up here. It's going to have to do a lot more damage, but imagine. Here, that crowd was getting excited, but it's about to dimmer down now. It's a big match here for both teams in the Discord. With the Buffy Slayers. Now we're on the outside. This is a false count anywhere match. And Shotzi's using it to her advantage. Going for the cover here. New champion. And Hogan says no. This is a risky match for a champion to take. You don't have an advantage here. And Blockhart exposing that. She just exposed Hogan's head to that mat on the floor there. That's much harder than the ring. Now Hogan somehow fighting back in a DDT to counter everything. And now she goes for a cover here to retain. Shotzi's out cold. No. Oof. We know, we know Hogan's a, a, a big woman and Shotzi's a little smaller than her. She could dish out a lot of damage, but I thought that was it for Shotzi. This crowd hating this outcome right now. They are letting Hogan know they hate her by crowding her with booze every time she goes for a cover on Shotzi. Right now, Hogan is continuing to beat down on the outside on the challenger. And now another DDT. With Shotzi getting up. Showing some fight here. And Hogan trying to send her back down. But Shotzi with a nice counter here. And now another roll up. She's got a two. Holy. Wow. She got this crowd back in the palm of her hand just by a cover. And there's a cold breaker which is one of her signature moves. And this could be it for Hogan. She is sending her back in the ring, though, even though it's a false count anywhere match. She wants to use that top rope. There it is, the splash. Is it enough to put away Hogan? Oh, Hogan kicks out just in the nick of time. This crowd is on their feet within seconds. Now it looks like Shoxy maybe going... Back up there again. And this time, Hogan's able to get the knees up. And may have just ended this one right here. But Shotzi, got to give it to her. Getting right back up and taking it to the champion. Oh, what a nice counter by the champ. Now Shotzi may be in trouble. And a gut buster. Shotzi able to roll out. Runs back in. Playing the mind games off the ropes. Oh, face buster into a cover. We're going to have a new champ right here. Oh, Hogan just kicks out. That was close. Shotzi is definitely pulling out new moves in her arsenal. She is trying to get pumped once more. She certainly has the crowd behind her here tonight. And another code breaker. And she is going up top once more. And if she lands this, we got a new BCW Women's Champion, folks. Because what goes up must come down indeed. And Shotzi building it up. And I think, folks, we got a new champion here tonight live on Twitch. No, what? Hogan kicking out again. I thought that was a sure thing. Now Hogan, somehow, some way, another gut busted to the ribs. And now Hogan going to the outside now. She just, she just jumped the barricade. Now she's she's in the in the crowd. 
Well, this is a false count anyway, match, but I, I wasn't. We were just in the middle of the ring. Oh, folks, you're not going to get anywhere else. BCW takes it everywhere in the universe. And we are literally surrounded by the fully vaccinated crowd here tonight, live in Brooklyn, New York. And they are loving to get this literal front row seat to the beatdown of Brooke Hogan. And now it looks like Shots is trying to lead Hogan over to the funhouse area. You know, there's a lot of toys over there, and she's running to pick something. He's got that kendo stick to the champ's face. And now to the spine. We gotta wait for the referee though. He's gotta head over here. And finally he's here. Shotzi eyeing that table. Oh, you don't think she's gonna want to put Hogan to the table. Oh, but the champ fighting back. Oh, look at this, Shotzi. Stomping her in our tracks and another code breaker. That's the third one going for the cover here with the spotlight Is it enough? It is we got a new champion and her name is Shotzi Blackheart What a freaking battle here tonight The ref was indeed busy in this false count anywhere match Started in the ring, went out, uh, back to the inside. I thought it was over right here. That face buster and the and the third code breaker doing the job. And we cut a new champ. And Shotzi Blackheart is our new BCW women's champion not too long ago she was in those bikini matches and now here she is your women's champion just goes to show you anything is possible all right we're gonna take a stroll back to memory lane last saturday night with a pay-per-view recap It was a beautiful Saturday night in New York City. We built a stadium dead smack in Central Park. And let me tell you, it was a hard job taking it down, let me tell you personally. But we started off with Jason versus Michael Myers. This was going to end the, the best of seven series. Like I said, it was going to end. But the only thing that ended was Jason's streak. With the beatdown that he had in the whole match until this man with the familiar music showed up and ruined it for him. The Fiend showing up with a sister Abigail and Michael Myers crawling over, getting the win and adding the second win to the best of seven, making it 3 2. And then we saw Charlotte Flair retain her BCW Divas Championship in a ladder match. Congratulations to Team G Money on that one. And then, of course, Sammy Guevara, the Spanish God, getting a huge win, dead smack in the middle of the ring on the 16-time champ, John Cena. And then, of course, G Money himself putting away Seth Rollins from Team Price to retain his IC title. And then the biggest news of all, the shocker. The Fudge Fighters are the new tag champs, dethroning NHS. That shocked the internet. And then, of course, yours truly took care of the former BCW world champion, Karrion Cross, in style. Here is your winner, and still, BCW champion, Paul Lee Hyde. 
All right, it is time for bikini action. We're going to head over to Coney Island, USA. This Falls Count Anywhere bikini match starts right now. All right, we are here in Coney Island, USA. We built this stadium on the beach. It's a bash at the beach, and it is time for the witch dock. First time seeing her out on makeup. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. The Witch Doctor, Yamamoto. Supporting a Japanese bikini here tonight, representing her country. Which we all know the Japanese women are no strangers to bikini matches. They uh, indeed do these all the time. And sometimes they get pretty crazy. Let me tell you. But here tonight... She is here to annihilate her opponent because that's what the witch doc does. Unless Asuka shows up and ruins it for her again. Asuka already came out and sent the witch doc here. But uh, I got to say, I'm eager to see if Kitty Sophia is going to get a win here and leave the witch doc in bikini stipulation. That would be interesting win here tonight for the rookie. And speaking of the rookie... And her opponent. Here she is. From Norwich, England, Kitty Sophia. Kitty Sophia is a BCW original. Trained in the slums of Brooklyn. Former cheerleader. And she put that pass behind her and using that athleticism that you need for that kind of sport. And she is focusing it on wrestling here in BCW and we are honored to have her here and she's looking for a desperate win here this will be her first win here in BCW she had her first match last week but she lost oh I don't think the witch doc is looking to play fair here tonight and she is not a German suplex to the rookie and this may be over before it started here for Kitty Sophia what do you guys got is the witch doc gonna come out with a win here and get out of the stipulation or is Sophia Kitty going to get a first win here and leave Doc in the dust, literally on that sand here in Coney Island, USA? And another German suplex to the rookie. Apparently uh, to a fan favorite here. I think we would all love to see Kitty come out with an upset here. Now the witch doc going to the top rope here and a missile drop kick to the face of Kitty now and uh, she is non-responsive because the, the witch doc is completely controlling this match here now right hand just to show it and another arm drag takedown going to the top rope for a second time here. Oh, a little hesitation in the RKO for a cutter. Holy crap. Huge upset win here. Oh, the witch doc just kicks out, crushing the dreams. But look how quick the crowd got into it when they saw that cutter. Super cutter, another cover here. Still can't believe she kicked out of that super cutter. And Sophia Kitty now going for a submission. She's got those voluptuous legs wrapped around the throat of the dock, but she's able to get out. Oh, my God. What a freaking low blow by the dock. Right to Sophia Kitty. And she kicks out just in time. Regardless of the fact, it still hurts. And now she's going to go the hip toss attack. Boom. Is it enough to put away Kitty Sophia? It is. And the witch doc is successful here tonight. No shame here, says the witch doc. But I gotta say, Sophia Kitty is definitely improving her game here. Almost had the win there with that super cutter. Her timing was impeccable. I think that she was really counting on that and not counting on that. We 
because I think that changed the course to set up this bad boy. No protection there, just a piece of fabric to the face and the witch dock, victorious here in Coney Island, USA. Winner, the witch doctor, Yamamoto. Oh, come on, she's not, she is not done sending a message. I bet you she is pretending that woman right there, Kitty Sophia is Asuka. And now she's got her up against the ropes here. Now she tosses Sophia on the outside on that hard sand, but she is not done. What is she doing here? And holy shit! The witch doc pulling out all the stops after the match. Alright, it is time for the main event. Jason teams up with Super Leatherface, while Myers teams up with his friend, The Fiend. All right, this is a tornado tag match. There's no tag rules because these guys don't know what rules are. So I just made it a brawl for all here. And right now you see Jason wants retribution on the Fiend, making him lose that match. Now, those that are following the, the BCW universe and you know the storyline between Jason and Michael Myers, they are in a best of seven series and it is 3-2. This match is a part of that stipulation. So, if Jason loses here tonight, it's tied 3-3. We're going to the final fight. Jason has taken a huge risk here accepting this match here. Because even if he doesn't get pinned, it's a loss on his end. Oh, but now Leatherface trying to help out his partner, Jason, after he took out Myers. Now here are the two enemies, enemy enemies. are going at it while well, the teammates are going at it uh, vintage Undertaker shown by Michael Myers and now Leatherface taking it to the Fiend who are you guys rooting for Jason is an ally to team Fuzzy Blumpkins and who has Myers I forgot who has Myers and nobody has the Fiend or the Leatherface, if you like to claim them now. I know uh, Tornado Chicken has Skeletor. Oh, we got a cover in the ring here. Wow, imagine that. Leatherface pinning Myers, and then Jason gets the win. That's it. Series over. You know, I guess it worked both ways, either way. Oh, and now a DDT. A Texas Chainsaw DDT, should I say. And it's a kick out by Myers again. And now the Fiend. Goes on his knees and gets kicked in the face by Super Leatherface. And shit just got real because now Jason sees Myers thrown a ball and takes advantage with a right hand to the outside. Oh, another cover here. Leatherface may have the Fiend, no. Now Jason, I don't know who he's facing right now. He's going after Myers and a beautiful Super Death axe handle to the face and it's successful taking out Myers. But now the Fiend goes in for the cover on Leatherface. Here comes Jason to stop it. Oh, he just gets there in time. Holy shit. That was a close cover there. Jason could have lost right there, and it could have tied the series for Michael Myers. Oh, and he made the Fiend pay. Now Jason going for the very first cover. No, but Myers stops it. This is an extremely hard match to call for this extreme tag match. And it is coming down to just Myers and Jason who are the only two men standing, or demons standing, I should say. Oh, look at this. Leatherface going for the cover. But Myers stopping him. Oh, now. The Texas native takes down the Haddonfield native. While the man from hell beats the other man from hell. I have to say, I love the tag team work here by Jason and Super Leatherface. Oh, there's that trap squeeze we've seen used before by Jason. Leatherface looks like he's trying to get rid of Myers. Oh, right hand. And now Suplex brings Myers back into the ring here. And now the Fiend 
fighting back, but then Leatherface intervening. And now helps out his partner, Jason. Another cover here. Myers is right there, won't be able to stop it. The Fiend kicking out just in time. And now Voorhees sends Myers to the outside while the Fiend and Leatherface stay in the ring. Dead smack in the middle. Oh, head first into that steel step. We got a quick stalemate. The Fiend. Go bust a knee drop there. Followed by a splash. And now Jason continues. Look at the strength. Oh, my God. Slams Myers right on that My uh, Myers, right on that Snickers decal. And here's a submission. The Fiend trying to break. No. Jason gets in again and stops it. Again, it doesn't matter who loses. The leader gets the win. And now Myers was going for a Tombstone Pile Driver, but gets stopped by Super Leatherface. But now the Fiend. He's got Voorhees and a sister Abigail again. First time in this match. The Fiend looking away to put Jason for his friend Myers. Oh, and Jason just kicks out. He's felt it before, and now he's able to kick out the second time. Oh, but now he's got the Tombstone Power Driver set up for Heatherface, who stopped him before. Going for the cover here while the Fiend's got Jason in the submission. Oh, come on, ref. We got a freaking win right here. The, the ref's got his back turned to Myers. Are you serious? Finally, one, two, no. Jason stops it. That was bullshit. The ref had his back. He could have counted to 10. Doesn't matter. The match continues. And now the Fiend goes after... Leatherface has got him in a trap squeeze. We've seen the Fiend put away people. And then that, 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 that's it. Leatherface just tapped out and Myers gets the win. And Jason is pissed because now the series is tied 3-3. And it comes down to sudden death. And I cannot wait for that match. I have no clue what type of match that's going to be. But even when I know what it's going to be, I'm not going to tell you guys until the night of. You're just going to see where it is. And here's the highlights. Oh, man. What a battle. Coming up with the win to end the show here tonight live on Twitch. I got to say, I'm impressed with the tag team right here that pulled off the win here against Jason and Leatherface. Tied up the series for his good friend Myers. And we're getting that Southern Death match that I know we. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We got something going on backstage here. Oh, there's the Witch Doc. Face to face with Asuka. You guys know what happened earlier. And if you're just joining us. Oh, Asuka. Combination kicks. Trying to take down the Doc. Asuka. Getting involved in Witch Doc's match earlier, causing her to go into a bikini match. Oh. Now they're meeting backstage. I think the Doc wants some retribution on the B BCW Women's Intercontinental Champion, Asuka, and a suplex on that hard floor. Oh my gosh, she just spit the mist in her face. Asuka is completely blind right now. And probably can't see anything and now a DDT on that marble floor. Oh my God. I can definitely say the witch doc got retribution here tonight. He's probably leaving the building, but Oscar's coming back to her feet here. I think that's a wise choice. The witch doc is not in a happy place here tonight. Thanks for sticking around. The show is not over, apparently. Apparently, the story there's more to tell here. And now the Witch Doc dragging the champion over to that dangerous circuit breaker. Oh, missed kick there by the. Oh, no, wait a minute. Come on. Let's see Charlotte Flag do this to Mina. She... No way. Come... Oh, my God. 
Holy shit. The witch duck going to a dark place and taking out Asuka to end the show. I want to thank everybody for hanging out. You guys are the best. You guys stay jelly. This is Paulie Price signing off saying stay safe, not stupid.